Yo, what is up guys, welcome to another Ring of Elysium video. This is going to be on the new... Apparently these are supposed to be in front of us uh, on Garena. Um, so we're going to be looking at the... What's going to be coming probably to Ring of Elysium in our next update. And as you can see, we've got the ultra low quality right there. That's what we're here to check out. Honestly, when this comes out, I'll probably be running it on ultra low. And... I know some of you are going to be thinking, oh, why would you run it on ultra low? The reason I'll be running it on ultra low is because you can see through windows perfectly. Like, literally perfectly. The only way they can counter this is by just taking, re just remove glass from the buildings for the other graphic settings. Well, just for all, just remove the glass. Like, that's the only way they can do it. Because, honestly, it, it's such a huge advantage in towns. I, I've made a Reddit post about this. I've shown different types of screenshots and stuff like that um, but you're going to see it in game in a minute I'll skip through this part now and we'll get into some gameplay there's timestamps in the description below to get to a certain part of the video um, you know like we'll have some comparisons you know low setting standard very low stuff like that so check out the description below for any timestamps that you're going to you're gonna want to just jump straight ahead to and let's get on with video guys let's have a look at this very well ultra low should we call it ultra low that's the one Alright, so as you can see straight away on the ultra low, um, you know, we've got no shadows or anything like that. Um, these are very, very pixelated um, when you're going to get all the markers and stuff. All your attachments are black. It's like they haven't got any proper textures or anything. I'll show you that when we get... Well, you can see on this pistol, actually, like the top of the pistol is black for some reason. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I, prefer, I actually prefer the... Uh, the top of the pistol, I think that looks better. Like the bottom is silver or whatever. Uh, we need to find a gun because some people did spawn here. The view distance on stuff that you pick up is terrible. That MP5 looks pretty dope. So you've got to be quite close to stuff to actually, you know, see it properly. The BMX has changed like certain parts of black when they shouldn't be. Alright, but this is the bit that I wanted to show you. This is this is the bit where it's like, oh my god, are you serious? Right, this is on ultra low, right? See this window here? See straight through it, see perfectly in. If someone is out that window, they are going to die. Let's have a look at this one. If someone's there, you know, pow 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 straight away. Let's flip the settings over to low. Apply, okay, continue. I can still see through this one because of the render distances on low. But now if we look at this one, it's gotten darker, like a lot darker. So we're gonna bump the settings up again to normal. I think the game might have crashed here. It's done this a couple of times. No, we're good. Still dark. Now you see it's starting to dim out. It's starting to get darker. This is the problem with this game. This is the problem with the settings. And if they don't sort these issues out, they're gonna lose. They're gonna lose players. They really are gonna lose players. We need some. We need. Oh, we just died. I think. Oh, we're being shot at. Something. The game crashed. Yeah, the game keeps crashing. Why I'm doing? Why I'm changing settings in game? But you see what I mean, though. If they don't. If they seriously do not get a handle on the proper option menu. We need to be able to change certain things. They are going to lose players. There's a lot, there's, honestly, th this season is, it sucks. Season two is trash. Season one, I started playing the game and I honestly preferred it to any other Battle Royale game. I was like, wow, this is amazing. It's so good. Since I've jumped into season two, the last couple of patches, I, I was expecting like, you know, better, a better battle pass are expecting better optimization are expecting you know better options and it's literally getting worse let's have a look at the battle pass just for just for one the adventure pass there's more xp in there there's more you know what i mean like the free-to-play version of the battle pass is it sucks it honestly sucks there's less items than they were in the first one you won't let me turn the music off. You only get where is it? You only get free skins like you did in season one. Don't get me wrong, you got free skins in season one. 
But again, I, I thought there'd be more stuff this time, and there isn't. Like, you know, add some weapon skins in there or something. Get rid of some of these crappy XP boosters. You know, and put some weapon skins in, like some cat, some snow camo, some woodland camo, stuff like that. And then, yeah, like the gliders as well. Like you can't even use your gliders from Battle Pass One into well Adventure Pass. Sorry, you can't even use your glider skins from Adventure Pass One into Adventure Pass Two because they decided to go with this new model instead, and they made it so you can't even use the the ones that you're unlocked in, you know, in Season One, which sucks. That really sucks. And it's just the game's not getting better. It's like like from this update, the game's not, if it, this update actually comes, the game's not getting better. It's getting worse. We've seen it with the adventure pass. They got more shady on it. You know, like the customization. Where is it? Instead of letting me pick a character and then click customize, and I just pick a new skin. You know, with different colors. Why not let me customize that skin? Like choose certain parts and change the colors on it and stuff like that. Honestly, it's a bloody, it's, it's a joke. This get it's a, this isn't. Alright, if Tencent, if anyone from Tencent ever somehow magically watches this video, this isn't PUBG Mobile. This isn't a mobile game that you're making here. This is a PC game. You're running it on DirectX 9, which came out in 2002. We are in 2019, not 2002. You know what I mean? You're so far behind. And the lack of development that's coming out is, honestly, it's a joke. On my main account, on my Steam account, I bought Battle Pass 1 and Battle Pass 2. If some major changes don't come to this game, then I don't see my percent playing up until Battle Pass, like, you know, until Adventure Pass 3. Like, I'll just straight delete the game. And I, I'm guessing a lot of other people as well. As well. I'm really laggy. Like, right, I'm ranting a bit, so I'm going to skip this and we're going to get back into some more gameplay. I'm just going to check out this ultra low settings once again. And we'll get back into that. We'll have a look in, like, is. Well, there's not really much more to look at. View distance is terrible. Um. So yeah. All right, here we go. The funny thing is, going between low and ultra low, I don't even get any extra FPS because they've not changed anything. All the, well, they have obviously. They've just like got rid of shadows and stuff like that. But my graphics card can handle all that. But if I go higher, I lose FPS, and the reason is because they're using DirectX Nine. Um, and DirectX 9 is, you know, it only uses one core from your CPU. If I'm if I'm correct, I'm pretty sure it only uses one core. And I've got a six core, four gigahertz processor. I'm running a Ryzen 5 2600X. So, you know, having crappy FPS really, really sucks when you've got a good computer. That's where I've just seen someone. Stuff's not rendering in. Like, I'd like, don't get me wrong, I think you should, like, all the attachments are black now as well, which is a little bit weird. Like, I don't know why they did that. Um, I'm guessing it's just something to optimize the game a little bit better, probably. Like, that's the only thing I can think of. <sighs> what we got there, I don't know. Like, stuff don't render in. Like, items, I, I believe... You know, going on very low, it's putting the uh, view distance down, but the item view distance down, like that, it, it was low enough as it were. Like, this is just ridiculous. It's way too low. You can see through all the, you can see everywhere so clearly without the shadows and the light. Like, yeah, but, well, that's it. It's just because there's no shadows. So you can see everything really clearly now. This guy's peaked, man, he's on point. Can't get him! <laughs> we just used that from the damage that I took from before. Alright, there we go, we got him. Jesus Christ. Monkey boy. 
Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I lag kind of hard on this, these servers, but you know, it is what it is. We're just here for testing purposes. After this, you know, we'll leave everyone alone and we'll go into a diff we'll go back onto our EU servers. That Mosin looks really weird. We are the um, silver textures. Look at that view distance. Oh my God. Ultra low. Here we go. We have a sniper. Look at that, mate. That's beautiful. Uh, I don't know who's down that way. Don't get me wrong. I like the I like that they're adding options in for people with crappier computers, but there should be options. There should be more options so I can tweak the game out. I want it, you know, so I can put certain things on very low. But I can still have my view distance on high. You know, I can turn shadows off if I want to. I still have my view distance high, stuff like that. That's what the game needs more than anything. It's a PC game. It's not a mobile game. So the you know, they really need to, even with a mobile game, you should still have them options, you know what I mean? It's just so much user, so much better, more user-friendly. Like... For some reason, that I didn't crash into that tree, I don't know why. Like, this is where the uh, ultra low really helps. Oh, I died. Because you can see through the windows so freaking easy. It's, it's just, oh. But there you go. You've seen it anyway. You've seen it all now. You've seen, like, the view distance. You've seen the textures. You've seen what they're doing to the game. You know, awesome. You can't into lower end people, but we need proper options. You know what I mean? We need to be able to change stuff properly. It's just not fair on, like... I've got over, you know, I've my my PC cost over a thousand pound. The reason I have this PC is so I can play games how I want to play them. I can play them, you know, with 144 FPS on my 144 hertz monitor. If I wanted this type of crap, I'd go back to console. We buy, we spend a lot of money on our computers so we can play it the best we can. And then giving people stuff like this, you know, you just it's it's just it's just a kicking face really you know what i mean it's like it's crap but anyway there you go there's all the settings hope you enjoyed the video i hope it gave you an insight of what is to come with rings of elysium so hopefully they'll do something better but you know before they give it to us in eu and us but this is what it's probably going to be hope you enjoyed the videos videos guys peace out check the description below for my discord my twitch where i stream ring of elysium every night i'm currently Bouncing between rank 1 and rank 10. I'm trying to get like sticking to rank 1, but I'm like all over at the minute. But anyway, there it is, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.